Jared Poland Fro knows photo.com here with another raw edit of the week and this week it brings us a yeah a Pentex yeah Pentex K2000 that's pretty cool I haven't edited one of these before and this is from a DNG file that Roberto sent in and it's a picture of tools why did I pick tools I don't know it seemed interesting it's it's a cool interesting angle except I just noticed are those feet down at the bottom or shadows of feet who knows but the colors are very interesting straight out of the camera um, so there's been no corrections added to this as of yet and I'd be interested to see what I could do Ooh, I just noticed something cutting off this little thing here is almost like cutting off the fingers so in critiquing wise I would have just shifted to the left a little bit and not cut off that metal rod so this is where it was shot 1 30th of a second at f 3.5 ISO 400 18 millimeters with the Pentax 18 to 55 I'm assuming kit lens on the K2000 so the details looking nice in here just checking it out um, seeing what this lens is capable of now, everything looks pretty cool so far so let's let's see what we could do I'm sure this is an HD lovers uh, you know a picture that they would love to edit in HD so you can do that you can download this raw file in the forum and show us your HD because I could definitely see this being HD sorry HDR I for even forgot to call it properly so too much boomification isn't going to work this time so this could be a tough file for me let me uh, pull back on the contrast from where I was. Let's bump up the black levels. Where are yellows? A little bit warm. Fill light this week. Some fill light. Some more contrast. Now it's too yellow. Maybe I'll just go all out this week and, and, and go ahead and do some weird, weird stuff and just go way over the top with it and make everything go boomy and then see what everybody has to say about it so I got that I got that and yeah that's really 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 wow where we started where we're at now where we started where we're where we're at now very interesting very interesting let's find some let's find something I was looking for where's the vignetting where do they hide this stuff things that I never touch vignetting where are you effects what is this oh this is the vignette oh it's so glowy wow we see why I never touch this stuff I don't even know what they're doing feather ooh feather sounds good no, that doesn't look good. There, it's feathered. I don't know what roundness means. So there's some roundness, some amount, some midpoint. I don't know. I don't know. I wonder what Greg's going to do to this. Ooh, I don't like that. I just changed the tint of the shadows. Effects that I never knew existed until I actually stepped down to here sharpening boom a little bit no don't want to take the red out I'm gonna leave it boomy I wanna see what more fill light does no less fill light contrast I mean this is where I'm at this is this is a tough one cuz it's it's out of my comfort zone of editing. I wonder what black and white would do. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go with this, and I'm sure I'll get yelled at by people for doing some weird stuff. But let's see what black and white would look like. Oh, hello, black and white. We're going old school right here. Let's go all the way back to color and start back. Now that I found my love for black and white, boom this this contra uh, clarity a little bit of fill light let's change some of this up now we're going back into the factory back into the day got rid of fill light uh, let's 
Let's do a little bit. No, I don't want to lose too much. I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to leave it at that. So there's my black and white. There. No, that's not the one you want to see yet. And there's my color. Black and white. Color. Black and white. Color. You can decide what you like. Greg, it's your turn. I love this photo. It definitely reminds me of uh, when I was a kid and my, uh, you know, always kind of searching through and staring at my grandfather's tool box or whatever and uh def definitely something that kind of hits you you know as uh, as a memory so cool photo i think i'm going straight to black and white on this because i want a lot of contrast as usual uh i'm gonna push the clarity but you know what i definitely want to hit the tone curve because we're we're losing some detail and so i'm gonna open this up a little bit and that's even giving me more contrast by pushing those lights over. See that? And let's see what the darks do when I push them around. Yeah, see that's good. It's got uh, it's it's got a lot of contrast, but shadows I want to keep down here so that my blacks stay real dark. Now I'm looking at my histogram. Everything's here on the left, so maybe I'll open up my exposure just a hair. No, I don't like it. I like that a little darker like that. Yeah, that's good. Let's push my blacks just up a little bit more. I'll see what fill light does. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think I want any fill light, or at least not very much. Um, how about if I go backwards in clarity? Nah. Alright, I think my last step here is to try some temperature adjustments and see what happens. See if anything changes, punches a little different. See, that's cool. I like that. It's kind of it's kind of got that bright feeling. It just it's right there at 12,000. Uh, let's see. Let's see what tint does. No, it's too far. It's getting, it's getting a little bit too bright, I think, to push that up. Last thing, I think I want to work on the sharpening a little bit. And then I'm going to add a little bit of a vignette. You know what? Let's add a little green, too. See what happens. Go real far, and then come back. Ooh, size of greens, that's good. Ah, that's too much. We're losing too much detail. So yeah, see that grain just, just finished it off, and it made it look old and uh, weathered and like it's a photo that's been sitting around forever along with that really super contrasty black and white I really like that so um, let's see I think maybe just a little bit of a uh, of a vignette and I think we're done whoa that was too much Yeah, just a little bit, just to darken all the way around. Keep your eye right here in the middle. I think that's good. So let's see how uh, Jared does. Hey, keep the shutter speed above a 30th of a second. Hopefully, uh, you know, try and keep that up above a 30th. Hopefully he wasn't hand-holding at a 30th. We always want to try and keep it at a 60th or above. Um, you could have pushed your, your ISO up to 800 easily with this image and kept it above a 60th. Just to make sure you have a tack sharp uh, focus. The last thing you want to do is shoot a cool photo like this and then realize uh, that you should have had your shutter speed up a little higher. So keep that in mind when you're shooting. All right, let's see how we did. All righty there. It looks like Greg's wearing the same shirt as me again. What the heck? What? 
<laughs> Nothing. Don't wear the same shirt as me. <laughs> what do you what do you own stock in that company or something? Um, maybe. All right. Uh, so, what? Uh, the check my portfolio. Yeah, check your portfolio. Mine <laughs> is on the top left, top right. Greg's is down here in the bottom middle. Why did you choose to go black and white only? Uh, cuz I wanted to look old. Okay. In the very first part of my video, I explained how it reminded me of my grandfather's tools, and I just wanted it had that old feeling to me, and so that's the way I went. Okay. I saw that you added grain. Yes, I did. Again, give it that old feeling. <laughs> I, I, you know my feeling with grain. I know, but I don't care if, what your feeling with grain is. I like it in this image. Yeah, and it was shot with a Pentex. I noticed that. I, we haven't done a Pentex file before. We haven't? No. All right. Yeah. yeah Pentex K2000. Yeah, I don't Although even... Although I scolded them for shooting at a 30th of a second. I don't know if you did. No, I ignored it. I only... I corrected the crop over here. Or I, I commented on cutting this piece of metal off and leaving all this extra room over here. Yeah, I think the positioning could have been a little bit better. Uh, if I really wanted to take it into Photoshop and correct it, you probably could, but it, it, it would have taken a lot of time in order to get that perfect. Aren't and, the colors very interesting in this photo? They were, and you definitely made them punch, I'll say that. Well, what I said in my video is I'm going to the extreme beyond where I normally go, hitting the vibrance, hitting the saturation, and going to places I normally wouldn't with it, and it kind of has an HDR feel to it. Uh, a little bit, but you don't have that weird shadowy effect in it like you get in an HDR. Right, so it's it's not over the top. I mean, it is over the top. I like the color now that I'm looking at it again. I, I also wanted to then go the opposite way and do the old feel just like you said. The only difference between mine and yours is I didn't go with the grain. Okay. And you went with the grain. Flip back and forth uh, from mine to yours with your arrow keys with a big. Let's see what happens. Yeah, mine looks better. No, definitely needed the green. No, definitely doesn't Let's need see the, the whole thing. Let's see the whole thing. This is mine? Oh, yeah, so much brighter, more vibrant. Uh, No, I think the green's perfect. It just needed that little bit. See, I... Did, it's too I, smooth. No, I don't think it's too smooth. I think this is how I would have developed it back if it was black and white film. But I wanted to make it look older. That was my interpretation. So I think your interpretation is off, Greg. <laughs> TFB. Yeah, well, I, I don't... So you like it flat? It's not a matter of being flat. It's a matter of looking old. And it has that old feeling. Do you think they both have that old feeling? Mine looks older than yours. <laughs> this, is <a> great, <laughs> this is a great argument. Rock, paper, scissors. Who's is older? <laughs> One, two, three, shoot. Why didn't you uh, You shoot? lost twice. That'd be really funny, though, if you lost three times. Oh, huh? forget it. Then forget it. <laughs> forget it. You lose. So here's the color that I did. Here's the black and white that I did. And there's the black and white that Greg did. It'd be very interesting to see what you guys do. If you go HDR, if you go old world, are you going to throw some sepia in there? Are you going to try some different tones and colors? What are you guys going to do with it? Go edit this raw file. There's a link down below to give you access to the forum. Actually, it takes you to the forum where you need to sign in to download the raw file so that you can do this for each week. Uh, what are we? We're up to 17 weeks at this point, and there you go. You can edit this file, download it, re-upload it with what your changes were, and... I don't know. Why don't you add some explanation as to how, why you did the edit that you did this week, and maybe we'll we'll see what you guys have to say about that. So, Greg, what else you have? I think that's it. All righty. So, yeah, if you want to send in a raw file for us to edit, send it to froknosephoto at gmail.com. Let's see some very interesting raw files, uh, and then we will start picking them and going from there. All right, Greg, that's all I got. All right, sounds good. All right, so here are the three again. Let's see what you guys come up with. Jared Polin, froknosephoto.com. See ya.